though we love the show and it's become a Hulu favorite, not everyone shares our enthusiasm for the show. The cast of Love, Victor has been stirring controversy as much as they've gaining fans. And today, we're gonna be talking precisely about that. So here are the Love, Victor times the cast have been through series drama. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 10. Filming all of season 2 was COVID-19 drama Because the show is filming season 2 during the pandemic of the COVID-19, they all had to wear masks on the set. There were strict protocols about filming and they all had to be followed to the strictest detail. They were all in masks, every rehearsal had to be done with masks on, hand sanitizers were used before any shoot and touching, hugging, bumping fists, basically human contact in general was brought to a minimum. If this wasn't enough drama, every time they had to do a kissing scene, the stars would take shots of mouthwash, gargle it for about a minute, and only then could they continue with doing the scene. George Sears shared a photo of the dance tribute rehearsal that Benji had to do for Victor, and yes, they were all wearing masks, no exceptions. Number 9. Mason Gooding's mom had trouble accepting her son's career choice Now, before you start saying that she was unsupportive and should have accepted his choices no matter what, we should tell you that the lady was only worried about her son. After all, she has been married to her childhood sweetheart, Cuba Gooding Jr., you know, the little actor that was part of small movies like Boys in the Hood, A Few Good Men and Jerry Maguire, a movie for which Cuba won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. And even though Cuba and his wife had three children together, she and her husband still had problems in their marriage. Because of that, Mason's mom was worried that her son would experience the same troubles of fame that she and her husband did. To make things worse, the couple filed for divorce back in 2017, and in 2019, the divorce was finalized. If you want to find out about the traumatic experience that shaped Anna Ortiz's life when she was a 20-year-old, then just keep on watching until pick number 6. I want your ass back on the team. Be honest. Don't you miss it? Being around a bunch. Number 8. Isabella Ferreira had a hard time dealing with her grandpa's passing. Before we talk about how Isabella Ferreira dealt with her grandfather's passing, don't forget to smash that like button. It keeps the almighty YouTube algorithm happy and you keep getting these videos for free. One of the biggest dramas that Isabella Ferreira had to go through recently was accepting the passing of her grandfather. Her abuelo, as Isabella called him, was one of the most important people in her life. He was a family man, he was a loving and kind man, and he was a happy man. He was the one used to pick Isabella up from school practice and tell her all of his crazy youth stories about when he was young. And even though she doesn't like sharing stuff like this with her friends and family, she wanted to tell the world about her super grams. Here's what Isabella said in a part of her caption. My heart feels so heavy knowing I won't be able to hear your laugh or see your smile anymore. You were the laugh of the party. If music was being played, then you were dancing. The most generous and loving, I admire you in all ways possible. But I think it's best if you go back to being Victor's nerdy best friend and I go back to being his moody sister. Number 7. Nick Robinson once deleted all of his social media. Even though he plays a rather cool guy in movies, when it comes to real life, Nick Robinson is actually one of the most introverted people you can meet. He's always rather shy and reserved. This was probably the reason he deleted all of his social media accounts. Soon after realizing the power of social media, he started sharing some posts on his Instagram accounts and he's pretty regular with the tweets. His publicist must have had to do some serious convincing. Because you're not a stranger. You're one of us. Number 6. Anna Ortiz was a victim of domestic abuse when she was young. Despite having a very successful acting career, Anna Ortiz is an active speaker on domestic abuse and she's fighting to raise awareness on the issue. Why? Because when Anna was in her 20s, she fell in love, but her boyfriend was exactly the opposite of what she thought he was. As things started going south really fast and Ortiz found herself the victim of domestic physical abuse, the experience marked her so profoundly that she often draws inspiration from this negative experience in her acting scene. <clears throat> I've had too much salsa. Um, I got this like acidy reflux thing, so. Number 5. Sophia Bush hated the fact that she got divorced. While starring on the set of One Tree Hill, Anna Ortiz fell in love with her co star, Chad Michael Murray. This was back in 2004, and just one year later, the couple got married in Santa Monica, California. But their love was not meant to be. Just five months later, the couple got divorced 
which was finalized in December of 2006, since then, she has hated the fact that she became just another number. She was just like all of those other Hollywood marriages that don't really last, never in her life did she expect to be married more than once in her life. But such is life, eh? If you want to know about all of the troubles that Michael Cimino went through with his homophobic fans after landing the role Victor, then just keep on watching until the end. It is usually pregnant, all the traditional rules kind of go out the window. Excuse me, Mr. Brooks. <laughs> oh, excuse me, ladies. Number 4. Chimino Was Dealing With Poverty Yes, probably one of the more dramatic moments that marked his life was before he struck it big by landing the role of Victor on Love, Victor. You see, when he was just another broke actor trying to find an audition that would pay him well, Michael went to see Love, Simon. But he didn't go to see it during the premiere, he saw it on a Tuesday because that's when tickets were just $5. After walking out of the theater, he told his friend that he would love to have some role like Nick Robinson did in the movie, and sure enough, by working hard and not giving up, he got the role. Damn, this is Number 3. The cast endearingly supported the LGBTQ community since the show is so tightly related to the LGBTQ community and their fan base consists primarily of homosexual and lesbian viewers, some of the show's main characters decided that it would be really great if they dedicated a few seconds of their time to support their brother and sisters in the community who have experienced abuse or assault because they were homosexual. So on April 23rd, both Michael Cimino and Rachel Hilson recorded a silent video of themselves giving respect to the community. And it takes a second, but it actually feels really great to just disconnect. Number 2. Nick Robinson's brother came out during the shoot of Love, Simon Now, even though this happened during the shooting of Love, Simon, we're still gonna count it because Simon appears in Love, Victor as Victor's gay mentor. He's a rather important part of the show. During an interview with Ellen, Nick told the audience that the coolest part about his movie was that it opened the conversation about a very touchy subject. And yes, after seeing his brother playing a lead on a show about a young teen coming out to his friends, family and school, he had the confidence to do it himself. You have something you want to say to me? Said you have something to say to me. Number 1. Michael Cimino Got Death Threats This is the most disturbing of all the dramatic moments that happened on the set, which is probably why we included it as our number one pick. You see, after Michael Cimino landed the role of Victor on the show, he got death threats from homophobic fans for playing a gay role. Even some of his own family members sent him hate. As Michael said, some of them told him, You used to be so cool, now you're so gay. The actor doesn't even care about these comments and says that it's just ignorance talking. Regardless of the comments and the role he plays, Cimino still identifies as straight. You don't have to be gay to be playing a gay role on a TV show. But then... Raheem told me that he likes me, and he kissed me. On a related note, did you know that Love, Victor has made it their tradition to air the show during June aka Pride Month? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.